I kid, Bear. Uh, Bear's calling me now. You're watching the NHL on ESPN. Home to the Stanley Cup. Tonight, ESPN Hockey Night comes your way from Ball Arena in the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado. Welcome, everyone, to the Verizon pregame as we get ready for the Vegas Golden Knights and the Colorado Avalanche, two of the preseason favorites to win the Stanley Cup, each off to a slow start through the first two weeks of this season. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Sean McDonald along with Brian Boucher. Delighted to have you with us. We'll be joined shortly by Emily Kaplan. Brian, through the first two weeks of this season, a lot of surprises among the teams in the NHL, some very pleasant, some disappointing. These two teams certainly disappointing. Injuries and illness undoubtedly a factor. In the case of Colorado, though, at two and three, they believe they're coming in off their best performance of the season against Tampa Bay. Yeah, they certainly do, Sean. I mean, when you think about the Colorado uh, Colorado Avalanche, you think about their top line with Nate McKinnon, Gabe Landeskog, and Miko Rantanen. That's where you have to shut down. And for the Colorado Avalanche, the fact that those three guys all contributed in a win by scoring goals against the defending Stanley Cup champions, that's a good sign for this Avalanche team. They have expectations, but now it's about managing those expectations. Meanwhile, the Vegas Golden Knights are 1-4. and four. They've lost their last four. That matches the longest losing streak in franchise history, which is just five years. It's still very, very early, but uh, this is a team with a tough schedule coming up and needs to get it turned around pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, the thing about Vegas is that you can't win a Stanley Cup in October, but you certainly can play yourself out of it. And I don't want to make it like they should panic right now because it's still very early in the season, but this is the first of two back-to-back -back games. They play in Dallas tomorrow night. They have to find a way to defend better. They have to find a way to score goals. They have a lot of guys out of the lineup, but the reality is this is a team with very high expectations. Should be a fun game tonight. It's become a great rivalry out west. We'll have the face-off in just a few minutes, but first, back to the studio. Here's John Bucci-Gross.